In this video, we're going to learn how to use the split lines string method in Python. So the split line string method will return a list of the lines in a string. So if we have a string like this text with line one backslash n for a new line and then line two and then backslash n for another new line and then line three followed by backslash n for again another new line and then line four. This string has four lines in it and the lines are separated by the new line character. The split lines method will give us a list of these lines. So if we have here lines is equal to text dot split lines, the split lines method is going to give us a list containing the strings line one, line two, line three, and line four. So we could output lines to see this. We'll have print lines. If we save our program and run it, we can see that we do get back a list containing those four lines. Now we could output the lines individually with a for loop. We could have here four line in lines and we could print out each individual line like this. So again, if we save our program and run it, now we get each line output individually as well. Now these new line characters here are called line boundaries because they're being used to separate the lines in the string. By default, these line boundaries are not included in these split strings. So line one here does not have the new line character at the end of that line. There is an optional parameter called keep ends and by default, it's going to be set to false. But if we supply true here as an argument, it's going to set keep ends to true. And then the line boundaries will be kept in the split strings. So if we save the program now and run it, now the line boundaries, new line, new line, and new line are kept in the split string. Now there are other line boundaries than the new line character. So for example, the carriage return character and the form feed characters are also line boundaries. So if we save this program and run it, we again get a list containing the four lines in the string. Now the complete list of line boundaries is available here. I'll post the link to this list in the official Python documentation in the video description. Now notably, if we use the method with an empty string, we'll get back an empty list. So here, if we have just an empty string with no actual characters in it, if we save the program and run it, now we just get back an empty list. Also notably, if keep ends is set to false and the string contains a single line boundary, then we'll get back a list containing a single empty string. So for example, if we had false here for keep ends and our string contained a single line boundary, such as the new line character, then if we save our program and run it, we'll get back a list containing a single empty string. So this is how we can use the split line string method in Python to split a string into a list made up of the lines in the string. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.